According to Joshua's official biography, unusual circumstances surrounded his birth. He said that he spent 15 months in his mother's womb and narrowly avoided death after a quarry explosion near his house sent rocks through its roof just seven days after his birth. It is also alleged that Joshua's birth was prophesied a hundred years prior. Joshua then, known as Bolgan Francis, attended St. Stephen's Anglican Primary School in Aragidi, Akoko, Nigeria between 1971 and 1977, but failed to complete one year of secondary school education. In school, he was known as Small Pastor because of his love for the Bible. He worked in various casual jobs after his schooling had ended, including carrying chicken west at a poultry farm. He was blacklisted by the government of Cameroon in 2010 and termed a son of the devil. Rumors of a visit by Joshua to Zimbabwe in 2012 led to an intense national debate, culminating with pastors and politicians strongly objecting. On 12 September 2014, a guest house collapsed in the Skowans premises in Lagos, killing at least 115 people, 84 of them were South Africans. Controversy has continued to swirl around the circumstances that led to the collapse, with the former Nigerian Minister of Aviation, Femi Fan Kayode, alleging Nigeria's intelligence agencies blew up the building. A prominent Nigerian Muslim cleric, Sheikh Husaini Yusuf Mabera, threatened to drag Joshua to court for describing Jesus Christ as God. A self-confessed member of the Islamic sect Boko Haram came to the school one in March 2014, allegedly with plans to bomb the church. According to him, it was Joshua's prayers that prevented the plan and later compelled him to confess. The subsequent clip of the confession went viral on YouTube and proved very controversial. A group known as the Movement of Accountability and Good Governance has called for the investigation of the incident based on the claims that were made.